I love this. 1200 tokens per second in Olama on my M1 Max laptop using OpenAI's brand new GPT OSS. That is incredible. Okay, that's not 100% truthful. Well, it is, but I left out one or two important details. I did get 1,200-ish tokens per second. I am running the Olama client locally, and it is on my M1 Max laptop, and it is running the brand new GPT OSS model from OpenAI. All of that is true but it's actually connecting to a new service up in the cloud, a service run by Olama. It's called Olama Turbo, and it's a super exciting new way to work with open source AI models. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now, and I fell in love with it almost immediately. Recently, we got introduced to the new Olama GUI. It's a really nice first draft of a UI, and I think pretty soon it'll be the best default client for private AI working with open source models for most people. So if you watched my previous video introducing the new UI, you may remember I said something about this sign in button. And now that they've announced it, I can sign in and we can see what this is all about. Now back at the main screen in the UI, I can choose one of the two new models from OpenAI. There's a 20 and 120 billion parameter model called GPT OSS. Next to the model selector dropdown is a button for turbo. I really hope they change the look here because it's super hard for me to tell if the button is pressed or not. It's hard to distinguish that shade of blue from the gray color. But if it is gray or black, then we are using a local model. And if it's the bluish tone, then we're using turbo. Next to that is a globe toggle to search the internet as well. Okay. What is the Schwarzschild radius? We see it think, then search, open links, think some more, and output a nice answer. And it's super fast. Unfortunately, we don't see the metrics in the UI just yet, but we can see those details if we go to the CLI. Just run olama host equals olama.com olama run gpt oss colon 120b dash dash verbose. <sighs> and there we see the tokens per second. This time closer to 900 tokens per second. Still super fast and no longer relying on my local GPU. Now you might be thinking that this goes against everything olama stands for but I think it's totally in line with the original goals that we had when we started building Olama. One of the core tenets was to create a platform where anyone could run AI models and not have to worry about their data being used to train other models. We wanted a way to get all the benefits of AI without having to sacrifice our privacy and security. And you still get that with Turbo, just a whole lot faster than if you used your local GPU. Let's take a look at the details of Turbo so far. To do that, go to the olama.com homepage and click the link to Turbo. Supercharged models with faster hardware for $20 a month. And that's the tagline. The first item here is speed up model inference. We've seen that and it's really a lot faster, but let me make that a bit more obvious. I'll ask my standard black hole question in Turbo and we can see it fly through the answer. Now let's turn off Turbo and try it again. Still a great answer, but nowhere near as fast. Run larger models. Now, that's not obvious when you run the 20 billion parameter model, but definitely true when considering the 120 billion parameter model you probably don't have enough memory for that. I have a MacBook Pro with 64 gigs of memory. And if I try to run the 120 billion parameter model, I get nothing. It just sits there suggesting that it might respond, but I never actually see anything. Next is privacy first. There's no data retention keeping your data private to you. Now I hope to learn more details about this particular item more in the future. 
save battery life. Now, this one is a bit of a stretch. Usually when I'm on battery, I also don't have a great internet connection and no internet connection, no turbo. Then below that is a fact section. Some people complain when I say FAQ, okay, F-A-Q. Now this is definitely a preview. And if you do sign up, be warned as things can change. For instance, the models I got used to over the last couple of weeks are now gone. Kimi K2 was incredible and was the key reason I signed up for the service. The full deep seek was there too as well, as well as some Quen models. But GPT OSS is pretty great and it's amazing to see that all the models on Turbo are configured to use the full context at the full quantization. How about using this hosted version in your own applications? Well, to do that, you need to use a bearer authorization header using a key you can get when you go to manage your subscription. Then when you use the JavaScript or Python API, you can just create a custom client specifying that header. So last week I tweaked Klein to use that and it works great. I can look at my fish configs and ask it to clean up the file and it just works. I had to add one or two lines to get it to call the hosted Olama, plus edit a bunch of files to get the settings UI to accept the key and persist it. Then put the key in the settings and it works perfectly. In fact, it's pretty incredible that it works so well just by changing that URL and adding a header. To use the command line client, just set this environment variable to olama.com and then you'll have the same access to Turbo. Can everyone use it? I think so. A lot of folks were able to enable it already and they talked about it on the Olama Discord. Last week, as I used it, it was super fast and there were six more models. It's amazing how fast these large models perform, but then there were maybe a dozen, maybe two dozen users who had access to it so far. It'll be interesting to see how it scales. I'm sure that scaling mechanism was one of the big puzzles the team had to solve before releasing it, even to this preview version. I remember the effort that went into making the model download efficient. The team worked hard to make sure the bandwidth was never the bottleneck. And still in most cases, if your connection is fast enough, your SSD write speed on your machine is the bottleneck. Of course, plenty complain about that because it'll saturate your connection. So there's no perfect solution for some problems. So what do you think? Are you excited to see Olama Turbo? I can't wait to see which models appear in Turbo over time and how well the platform scales to support more users now that the floodgates are open. Well, that's all there is to know about Turbo so far. Thanks so much for watching. Goodbye.